Hi friends, welcome to Inpathan series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to read and process pandas data frames from large files using the chunk size option. If we try to import a large CSV or DBA file into a single data frame, we may run into memory issues resulting in crashing of the Python script. So instead of reading the whole CSV file or DBF file at once, which will result in crashing of the program, we can read the CSV file in chunks so that we can process little amount of roads one at a time and get our output at the end by aggregating the results. So this is like a divide and rule approach or map reduce approach. And the chunk size option of the pandas.read CSV can help us to do that. So in this video, we're going to talk about so in this video, we're going to talk about how to preview only a small subset of a large file so that we can understand how the columns or rows look like and then processing the whole large file in chunks so that we can get the aggregated result at the end. So the first piece of the puzzle is to just see only some rows of the file so that we can understand how the file looks like. So for that, while using the read CSV, you can mention n rows. So n rows is basically read only the specified number of rows from the CSV file. Suppose if I have a file called data.csv and it has some 10 million rows. I just want to see the top 10 rows of this file. I can just write pandas.read CSV and I'll give the n rows option equal to 10. That means only 10 rows of this huge data frame will be loaded into the data frame and you can preview the data file to understand how it looks like. So in order to demonstrate this example, I've taken a blank folder and I've pasted a huge data file called data.csv, it is like 300 MB. And I've given you the link of this file also in this example, you can download it from here. I've given the link in this blog post or else you can take any huge CSV file. So I've kept that CSV file in this blank folder and I'm gonna open it with VS Code. And let us try to implement this example of previewing only some rows of a huge data file. So I got my VS code open. I'll just create a new file. I'll just name it index.py. I'm going to use the VS code Jupyter cells feature so that I can see the results in between writing the code. So I've written this hashtag percentage percentage so that my code will be converted into the Jupyter cell. And now I will just import pandas as pd. I'll just write import pandas as pd. And I have to read the CSV writes into a data frame. So I'll just create a data frame variable called df. I'll write df equal to pd dot read CSV. And I have to give the path of the file name. I'll just write it data.csv because the file path is data.csv. You can see it here, data.csv. I'm going to mention the number of rows I want to get into this data frame. So I'll just write n rows equal to say 15. So I'm taking only 15 rows from this file, which is like 300 MB. Let me try to run this cell now. All right, the cell is executed. So let me try to preview data frame here. I'll just write df and shift enter. So you can see how the data frame looks like. You can see there are only 15 rows in this data frame and you can see all the columns, how they are present in this data file. So if you just want to know the columns, you just want to list up the columns, you can write df.columns.toList. So you can get the list of the column names. And here you can see these are the column names of this data file. So that's it guys, just by using this n rows option, you can just read only less number of rows of a huge data file and understand how the data frame looks like just like this. Suppose you want to preview the data frame 15 rows after 10,000 rows. So you want to view the rows from 10,000 to 10,015 rows. You can just write skip rows equal to 10,000. That means you are skipping the 10,000 rows and then re previewing the 15 rows after that. So if I just save it and run this, and if I just preview the data frame df, you can see the number of rows you are seeing here are 15, but these are these rows are after the first 10,000 rows because I have mentioned the skip rows option here. You can see I have mentioned the skip rows equal to 10,000. That means I'm previewing the 15 rows after the first 10,000 rows of this huge data file. So this can also be handy if you want to not just see the first 15 rows, you want to see rows after skipping some number of rows. So that you can get a broad idea of how the data frame looks like. All right, we have solved the first piece of the puzzle. The next piece of the puzzle is to process the data frame itself. So using the chunk size option here in this example, you can see we got the chunk size option. Your whole data frame will be a list of data frames through which you can iterate and you can use a for loop to iterate through each chunk of a data frame, which is a huge CSV file. So let's get started with coding and try to process this huge CSV file and do some operation on it. For starters, let us try to understand how many rows are present in this data frame by processing each chunk. The syntax is really simple. You just have to write pd.readcsv, the file name, which is data.csv, and you have to write the new parameter, which is chunk size equal to 10,000. So I'm writing the each data frame size while iterating through this big data file should be having 10,000 rows. So this will not return a single data frame variable. It will, it will return an iterator through which we can loop through each data frame chunk. So I have to use the for loop here. I just write for, I'll just write a name called df chunk in pd.readcsv and I'm giving this chunk size. So every time this for loop runs, I'll go through each data frame chunk using this df chunk variable. So let me try to write the for loop again here. 
So my goal is to find out the number of rows in this huge data file, right? So I'll just write n rows. I'll just declare a number of rows, initialize them as zero. And while going through each data frame chunk, I will increase the number of rows. So I'll just write n rows equal to n rows plus length of the df chunk. So I'm getting the chunk of data frame now and I'm using the length of that to find number of rows in that data frame and adding it incrementally to number of rows. So that I'll process each chunk and find how many rows are present in this huge data file. I'll just add a fancy print statement here. I'll just write print processed n rows. All right. Now this is a very simple code. I've initialized the number of rows and I'm going through each data frame chunk using this chunk size option in the read CSV method. And here, while iterating through each DF chunk, I'm updating the number of rows variable and I'm getting number of rows at the end. All right, let's try to run this cell and see how the results look like. Here you can see the data frame processing is going on and the data frame is processing these many number of rows and ten, each 10,000 rows of the data frame are being allocated to this DF chunk variable and the processing is happening. And here you can see at the end, I got four rates, five, seven, three, double seven. That means these many number of rows are present in this data frame. And you can see at the end, the end rows variable as the number of rows of this pandas data frame. So this way using this divide and rule. So this way using this divide and rule approach, you can process the huge data frame in chunks so that you don't crash your pandas environment. Similar to finding out the number of rows of the huge data frame, here I have given an example where we can find out the maximum value of a column name called volume underscore currency of this huge data frame. And we are trying to find out which time this maximum volume occurred. So this is a small logic which we have implemented, but it's the same basics that we are dividing the data frame into chunks and processing each chunk to get the final output. All right, now let's jump into the example of processing huge DBF files. You know, I have created a video on importing pandas data frames from DBF files. You can check out that video if you don't know about the basics of importing DBF file. But if your DBF file is huge one, how to process that in chunks similar to processing chunks of CSV files. Here, the same thing applies. You have to call DBF phi of the DBF path and convert it to a data frame. But while conversion, you give the chunk size option. If you give this chunk size option, you will get a similar data frame chunk and you can iterate through that chunk and you can do divide and rule approach and process the huge data frame. You can see I've created a blog post on reading and processing pandas data frame from large CSV files and DBF files using the chunk size option. I have even given you the source code so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer. So be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. And I have even given you the reference to the official documentation so that you can do the further reading. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching.